Good day friends, today we'll be talking about Bristock. Why you should raise your own Bristock and how to raise Bristock. Bristock are the parent stock we normally use for breeding and I would like you to understand that when you select the right Bristock you're going to have good results and um, you need to really know how to select good Bristock, especially the female. For the male, the gentle organ have to be reddish at the tip and then she selects a male that is well matured but in this documentary we are going to be doing a live demonstration on how to select good female number one you should have a pointed um, abdomen a swollen stomach and when you have handled it while handling it handle it with wet towel and with the help of that wet towel try to use um, your thumb, one of your finger to press the abdomen gently, not with stress, not with power. So when you press it, you will see that few air will come out. Then check the color. We normally have white, green, and golden green. White color is not acceptable. Green color is telling that it's getting right, but the acceptable color is golden green. So good bristle guarantee good heart wounds. That's why you have to be very, very much careful. So this a live documentary. They are going to be watching how it is being selected. This is actually a farm where we went to get blue stock and um, see, we are going to see how we are going to do it. And what I want to encourage farmers to do is to try all you can to raise your own blue stock. This has been a challenge which we breeders are having generally. Because when you have your own blue stock, you will not, you will not be stressed you know, during the breeding process. The stress of trying to source blue stock from different farms and the rest of them. Then how do you raise blue stock? Raising of blue stock is not difficult. It's all about selecting the best seeders among the shooters that you have and stocking them for a period of one and a half years to two years. You will discover that at that period of time, they will develop very, very well. Apart from the fact that you're going to use them for your own breeding, you still have enough to sell to people. And we know that when you are involved in the business, it is you, don't, you see the same. Imagine yeah. selling a few yeah. Yeah. two five or two thousand. And when you have raised them for one and a half or three years, some of them will weigh four kilos, some weigh five kilos, some six or seven, some two point five. Then multiply it. You will see that what you are having is good. So what you are watching right now, you can see how I'm pressing the abdomen. That's the egg. So. Enjoy yourself as you watch what is happening here. And we we'll have to make use of a good towel to handle the fish. Actually, they're going to struggle, but with the help of that towel, they're able to maneuver the slippery nature of the fish. All right. So when you press that, the air coming out, you will collect it and check the color. Check the color. So you don't need to negotiate too much. Check the color. Let the color tell you what to do. We always have a um, serious challenge when you discover that you don't have good one and you really want to breed. So that's where some be tempted to make use of the one that are green or the one that they are not fully satisfied with. That's why I'm encouraging every one of us to try as much as you can to raise our own booster because if you're the one that owns all these boosters here. Um, you, you just have to select the best among them and use them for your own No, so you're going to see what we have in this building process. You're going to watch the hatching. You're going to watch how they develop. So, I really want to encourage you. If you have yet to subscribe to this channel, subscribe to this channel. This is Fish College. And all we do is to help you to, to achieve the best in your fish farming business. And we also run mentorship class. Uh, mentorship class run steady. So all you just need to do is to subscribe with us and we'll guide you for a period of two months and within that period we will ensure that you are having the best of results in your farm. We we'll also render marketing services. Provided you have challenge in marketing some of your agro products, you can let us know and we will try our best in marketing them for you. So see on the solution process, you don't have to do this in haste, you have to do it carefully because once you have a right blue stock they're going to have good results but if your blue stock are not well selected 
I'm telling you, my brother, my sister, the results are going to be having will be that team. Just imagine using almost 30,000 or 40,000 to buy good stuff. At the end, you are not having something with me. It's very, very frustrating. That's why I encourage every one of us to be careful with them. After getting your blue stock, the next big, thing is to big, weigh. Big, big, so you big, first big. of all zero your scale with the bow before you put eight. in the fish there and get the right measurement. The reason why you are wearing this, the weight of the blue stock help you to know the quantity of hormone you are going to use to inject the fish. So right now I'm going to move to the result. This is the hashing process. You can see the hatchlings all over. That is what you can you can get once you use a good booster but if you don't use a good booster i'm telling you you're going to have a lot of white egg all over a lot of white egg all over a lot of white egg all over so and it's frustrating you know it's frustrating especially when you are not the one that owns the booster if you are really the one that bought them it is always frustrating my brother i encourage you to try your possible best to get the right booster get the right blue stock and raise them on your own just close eye and raise blue stock so you have enough to use and enough to sell that's the fry you can see them how they are swimming all over they are really doing oh that the hatchling so they're really doing well they're really doing well so i'm really encouraging you i actually believe that um, you are learning something because you know, many people are waste a lot of money in breeding because of little mistake. And I don't want you to repeat that mistake again. So you can see part of the result. These are the price. You know, when you check in our uploaded video, you see a lot of a lot of um, results we are uploading. You know, we upload them to inspire people to make good success in this business. This you are on what you a member of Fish Society of Nigeria, a graduate of Enamdi Azikro University. And um, I have strong passion in animal farming. So I don't just do fish farming alone. I'm into rabbitry and honey production too. And um, I'm actually promoting this practice to make it easy and affordable for everyone. So feel free if you're here to subscribe subscribe to this channel subscribe to fish college channel just click on the button below and it is done so that you can be getting our video update and if you have interest in, in subscribing for our online platform you can call our number you can see our number on the screen call our number or chat us up via whatsapp and we will give you the condition on how we run it and we will also know how to get it done for you. We also supply quality fingernails and juvenile at affordable rate. So in case you need, if you are buying from 5,000 above from us, we render free consultancy service to those who buy to ensure that the fingernails and juvenile grow well for them. But we render our consultancy service in the sense that whenever they have challenge, you call upon us, we always know what to tell you to do. If the farm is very close to us, we we'll try our best to visit to see what we can do for you to ensure you have low mortality and good results in your business. Indeed, fish farming is really paying when the right principle is adopted. I said fish farming pays once the right principle is adopted. It's a bit technical. It's not just a four-year course. It's about five years, five years course in the university. So, so. I want you to understand that um, it's not something that you can just jump into it. It's something that you just really need patience and you need skill, you need skill, you need knowledge. You need to be versatile, you know, in the areas that you really want to specialize on. With this breeding, breeding, you have to follow the principle. You have to follow the principle carefully to have a very good result. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. This is Fish College for you.
are these girls they're actually for sale Jesus. and um, in case you really need them you can call us tell you the location Jesus. where you can get them so thank you for being part of this community i've taken time to show us how you can carefully um, select rootstock that are viable especially the female but now i want to sell how you're going to raise them but eventually you want to raise rootstock on your own it's very very simple all you just have to do is for example now assuming you have um, 1000 juvenile that you stock among that 1000 within two months you discover that the shooters among them, I'm not talking about the shooters from the hard shoe, but this time around I'm talking about the shooters, the fast growing one that you can see among the 1,000 within two months. You select 300 out of them and raise them in a particular pond. Then you raise them for another one or two months. When you raise them, you will now say about 150 that are very, very good, fast growing. You select those ones and now raise them as good stuff. Then one thing that is very very important is inbreeding. You have to be very very careful to avoid what you call inbreeding while raising your crystal. What is inbreeding? You are not meant to make use of male and female from the same pond. So to avoid that, um, if you are breeding, you can decide to raise your own crystal and equally go to a far place to get um, male that you also raise. So if you get the male from a far place, and you have your own female that you have raised on your own, you can mix them together. So whenever you want to hatch, you know that both the male and the female in that pond are from different sorts. So because um, the danger of inbreeding is something that we don't need to stress on. It's just like AS marrying AS. I know that when you do the genetic crossing, there's possibility of you having SS. So when you when you implement inbreeding, either by, by carelessness, um, you might have offspring that have, you know, recessive sickness manifesting in the fingerling, and um, it can result to fish kill or high level of mortality. So you have to be careful to avoid that. Then I want you to understand that the way we feed rootstock are not the same way we feed other fish. You have to give them food that are rich in protein. So you will not be relying on using a nine mm to feed them even when they are big. So you have to use, either you formulate fish on your own, or better still, you can make it a four mm, the CP is still okay for them. The, the, the protein content help the egg to develop very well, and quality help the milk to develop very well. So when you do this thing, you discover that you will have something good. So whenever you want to hash, you don't need to hash with pressure. Because these days, when some people want to hash, when they consider the cost of blue stock, I'm going to buy a female of 15,000 or 10,000. Because there are areas where they sell 25 per kilo, there are areas where they sell um, 3,000 per kilo. There are some persons that will even tell you that, bros, if you are not paying 7,000 naira, I'm not selling. And if you really want to breed, you have no option but to patronize them. So when you now buy, you now use like 30,000 to buy blue stock. You know, it's something else. But if you are the one that produce the blue stock on your own. Whenever you want to hash, all you just need to do, either you buy hormone or you make it a pituitary tree. And breeding will be very, very simple. The only thing that will cost you money is now the um, cost of um, maintenance, feeding and um, changing of water. That is the reason why some peasants can sell fingerling as cheap as seven to 10 naira. Why others find it difficult to sell very very low because of the cost involved so i'm actually encouraging us to to be creative and innovative you know fish farming is very very simple as i said initially when we apply the right wisdom that is meant to be applied in it so i remember your friend what could you have if you know fish college if you're here to subscribe subscribe to our channel and uh, feel free to chat us up as I said initially, we run a mentorship class where we guide young farmers or those who think that they really need guide. So all you just need to do is to call us or chat us up and indicate your interest. We have our modus on branding. We'll let you know if you can work with us, we work together to achieve good success together. So at this point, I really want to say thank you 
thank you for being part of this community. Thank you so much. Um, great farmers, great nation. Without farmers, there will be no food. And without food, there will be no nation. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching our video.